Okay, guys, so I guess we're heading into chapter two. Thanks for watching. I know we're three hours in and no one's died yet, but at least some things are happening finally, right? Thanks for watching. If you are enjoying this playthrough, if you could consider giving this video a like on demand here on YouTube or maybe leave some comments, let me know what you think. If you're watching live on stream, uh, you know, liking the stream helps as well. Uh, let's continue. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. Didn't even get I'm film, serious. Film Everything yet. about no this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. It's funny Somebody they agree with each other Somebody tried to completely. attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. <sighs> And exit stage left are oh so confident and surely all that have good faith he built up. What was that? Oops. <laughs> What's he doing? Charlie is thinking. He's beating up so the hallway. It's a lot like a temper tantrum. <laughs> Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something, anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right, here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, okay? And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. <laughs> Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. Mm -mm. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Oh, you Just never say that in a horror movie. You, okay? I don't care we'll what he right says. Be right back. I'm, done. I'm getting my shit together. Okay. I'm leaving, <clears throat> Mark. You coming or not? <clears throat> Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry. It's just Charlie said. We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. I promise. No, don't. Uh... Sorry, just. We're a bunch of assholes. Still freaked out. I'm just gonna leave her alone. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. They're seriously gonna just leave her alone after what she just went through. Wow. What a, a bunch of nice people. <laughs> okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for the Met? I'm not looking. So you know what would be ultimately fucked up? If whoever this is who's messing with them only messes with Aaron. So Aaron just is driven insane and she murders all of them herself. All right, that would be a different... A different story completely, wouldn't it? That would actually be equally creepy. I do, Matt. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else, do He's you? He's got his of lighter bag. Care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. Uh, Asshole. So anything new? Because the last time we re reinvestigated this floor, there was new stuff on it. That doesn't look like it, though. Right, we gotta go downstairs. Okay. That would be really dark. Imagine Aaron's driven to, like, craziness and just, like, starts killing them all. She's had enough. So did this number change again? Nope, it still says 180. So it hasn't changed yet. What happened here? I... No idea. Yeah, look, it's all, like, messed up. What happened? Who messed it up? This was under one of the chairs. Oh. Oh. 
Interior murder castle lobby day. Slow pan through the I lobby. I wonder if the grounds the people would know where the map went. Series dissolves between key exhibits and details. A hand reaches into frame and rings the desk bell. Tilt to reveal Kate. Does this sound right to you? The World's Fair Hotel is a hotel like no other. Always around ground with blood. Its sheets were washed. Kate turns away from the desk and exits the frame. Cut to on Kate. Slow pull back as she walks through the lobby. This looks like their notes for the episode they wanted to film. Yeah, see? Kate stops camera and continues to pull back, revealing the space around her. It may look like we stepped into those dangerous days of 1889. Blah, blah, blah. You can almost hear the, de the desperate screams of the unfortunate guests. Kate exit frame. Screams? I think Eric Wait, can what? do this. Yeah. This is, uh, uh -huh. that's their notes. The episode they wanted to film. So what's that doing on the floor? Their notes? Who dropped them? Who had their script? <clears throat> All right, it still hasn't changed. Nothing new down here. Are we going? I'm trying to figure out where we're going. Cart, chair. I don't know what we're doing down here. There doesn't seem to be anything to interact. With. I guess we're going through this door. Okay, let's just make sure we didn't. Oh. I was going to say, let's make sure we didn't miss anything. We found another business card. Remember, this says there's going to be hey, five of these? I found Dumet's <clears throat> business card. It said there would be five of these. Two of five. What do you do with all these? That's it? You can't me up? Okay. And nothing, nothing new behind here? Wait, what's that? We already opened this before. Would it open again? It's the same thing we found earlier. Okay, we don't need to look at that again. Oh, really? Plum Girl said she noticed the difference. The business card here said ar said designer. The first one said architect. I didn't even notice that. See, this is why it's good doing this with an audience. You guys are more observant than me. So this, the business cards all say something different. That one said designer, not architect. Okay. Well, thank you for that, Plum Girl. You caught it. Wait, what's that? Over here. A trail of blood? Who's blood? Okay, yeah, I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Right. Maybe it's our dinner. Oh, yeah. That's what you do. You drag your dinner in over all your carpet and fucking ruin it, squirting blood everywhere. That sounds Welcome very, very all. realistic. Uh-oh. What the fuck? There's a camera up there. By Grantham Dumet. Dumet? Well, so he hasn't left. No, he did, but he's remote controlling the whole place, I bet. Probably over the internet. This is 2022. Woo! Shit! No, can't open this door. Creepy. I wonder if there's an achievement. Beat the whole game without using any light source. That'd be crazy. Walk in the dark, not see shit. Woo! I don't know which way to go. Can't see anything. Is this the right way? I might be going the wrong way. None of the doors open. Oh, we have something over here. What's this? <clears throat> Seal. Li Federal Bureau of Investigation. FBI? At first, oh. at Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997, at okay. O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. Oh, here is Chicago. I'd yeah. actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I don't remember me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training, and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. What happened? It cut off. Huh. 
What is this Mo Agent Monday gonna have to do with it? By the way, there's a creepy HH Homestyle top hat right next to us. See that? I wonder what this Agent Monday has to do with anything in the plot right now. Because they're talking about that Arkansas killer from earlier. But I don't know what that's gonna have to do with what we're going through here. All right, now we go this way towards the music. Huh? Can we open this, any of these drawers? No. Remember, he has the business card that opens drawers. As dumb as that sounds, <clears throat> they're actually going with that. Okay. Very exciting. Get ready. Look out! One of the demon dogs from Resident Evil One's gonna break through the window any moment. Loud. Well, let's see what this is. Ew. Lovely. Is that a hand? No, it's a bloody glove. I think it's a bloody glove. Someone's breathing heavy. It sounds like they're struggling to take a shit. Oh, 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 it's coming. X Lax, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, oh, no, it's one of those cactus shits. It's stuck in my ass. It really hurts. Oh. Woo! Is that the raincoat guy? This is the groundskeeper. Please, please. Are you? Don't do anything. What happened? Are you okay? Oh Jesus! That's that's fuck. Oh no! He stepped on a pressure plate. Oh no! This <laughs> is a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate. And this guy is getting run through by that thing. Uh oh. Hello. Help. Hi, I'm a uh, Watson. Please. I got pissed at Holmes. So jealous, I became the killer. Help me. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh God, he's trying to make him move. Jamie. He's gonna make him move. Oh, oh, he has no! Oh! Oh my god. Shit, give me your hand. Come on. Damn it. Was it real or was it staged? You don't know because the light went out, so you don't know what really happened. I do. We need to get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. It could all be fake. It could be a, a total staged thing, you know? Did, did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? <laughs> Me. Now the shit's ramping We're up. Trapped. Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One. How are you gonna two, break those bars? Three. <clears throat> the controller's vibrating, by that? the way. Yes. What is happening? I don't think anyone expected this. All hell's breaking loose. Fuck. <sighs> What's that? Find your spirit crystal. Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It, it helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. That's why we broke know, up, because you're fucking crazy as shit. Rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility <laughs> of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a person. Everything was fine. Then you started hugging and kissing that rock. I was like, Jesus Christ. It makes me feel better. 
Something you never seem to be able to do. Ooh. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't a time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job. Not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. <laughs> Provocative or confused? Confused. Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. Oh, my God. Oh. I, I guess I didn't even think of that. I... I just... Uh, it don't matter. You two are going to die anyway. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Assertive or apprehensive? Say assertive. Mark, I have never once shied away from telling you where my priorities were. All right, I get it. We better go. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out of here. So the relationship went down, up, down. <laughs> Charles seems hell bent on talking to Down, me, so up, I'm down, really left, happy. right. Be a select star. You Konami coded your relationship. Congratulations. Ten extra lives. Sure. And the, the thing is, none of it's going to matter. I really don't feel like it's going to matter. Like, maybe there'll be some optional choices at some point, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Oh, you can almost see in the door. There's a crack in the door. See that? They kind of screwed it up. You can see in there. Uh, the other way? Because this looks like a dead end. Who is going around locking these doors? Ha <laughs> ha! It's a little helper in the yellow coat. That's funny. She actually referenced the fact that the doors are opening and locking and opening and locking. Huh. Are they ever going to reference the fact that the hallways are different? Do they not notice? <clears throat> Wait. The Campus Strangler. Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. What is that? Is that a story they previously is it covered? Her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. Oh, her friend. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? He kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We'll be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when they, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone, someone researched knows. them all. Someone wanted me to find this. Right, someone's really fucking with them. What the hell is that? I have no idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here, now! Charlie! Oh shit, now they realize the house is doing this, look. <laughs> Oh boy. I don't think they're gonna be able to beat the wall. You have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! <laughs> Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? 
I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Pee Wee's Playhouse. Uh, now let's talk to Johnny. Uh, it's a movie. <laughs> now what? We're fucked. Everyone sit down in cherry. Look, yeah, the chair eats you. Crawl space Eat your ass right up. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, that would be fucked up. Imagine if they made a horror movie of Pee-wee's Playhouse. Oh, shit. And Paul Rubens is the star. Somehow, Paul Rubens bought the set to Pee-wee's Playhouse from the 1990s. And he fucking traps people in the house. And all the things come alive and eat you and shit. Fucking Cherry eats your torso off. Zombie fucking impales you. Oh, my God. Yo. I just came up with a new horror movie. Uh. What's going on? <laughs> what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. We gotta do it. We gotta make the Pee Wee's Playhouse horror movie now. I'm contacting Paul Let's Rubens immediately. This. You saw Dumet take off. Dead end. So maybe he found <clears throat> out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? Oh. Jimmy and Charlie realized that the man they met wasn't the real Dumet. Oh! They're saying maybe that was one of the previous survivors. And they let them escape, him and his daughter. Contraption. Because they were the new group. Set up. That was planned out. Oh. Every bit of it. it was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really Dumet. Interesting. So if you survive the survival game, you have a chance to escape if you can lure other people here to take your place. That's what it seems like. So Dumet, the fake Dumet, lured them here on the guys of filming their episode of the show. And then when they when they came in, they were granted their able ability to leave, him and his daughter. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. It sure is some slow moving stuff. What's this? Nothing? Can't interact with any of this shit. None of these doors open. I feel like we're going in circles right now. Ew, there's a stain on the wall. Oh, they want me to go in okay, they want me to go in there. Is this a dead end? A red chair? No? Yes? The fuck? We can keep going, but let's go to the, the room we can enter. So that way I don't miss it. Mother. What fuck. the hell? What? <laughs> what the keep going. Just like Holmes. I know. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> That's fucked up. It's a dead end. So now you turn around, watch. Now the hallway is going to change. Yeah, look. This wasn't here. What the fuck? The hallway just changed behind us. I'm trying to map this in my head. You can't. But I think Ellen's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. The most vulnerable. Don't you watch our show? That's what... Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. Listen. You hear a creepy kid voice, too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Where's it coming from? Mommy, I was trying to buy the full-size banana outfit in Fortnite, and the transaction was declined. Did you cancel the card? Mommy, I asked Ninja out on a date, and he wouldn't respond. I got two ovals. We still don't know what the ovals are for. <clears throat> Charlie, All right, here we go. come here. How's it get this open? <clears throat> oh boy. 
Prepare for fucked up shit. Look at this room. Oh my god. This is like straight out of Saw now. Look at this. A slaughter room? <laughs> oh my god. Straight out of Rocky 2. In a bloody nesting doll. Let's box yeah? them to death. A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a, a doll. Petroska in doll. A doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room. How do we get out of the hotel? Exactly. Uh -uh. Or off the island. What the fuck is Maybe this? Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room first. Natalie, Natalie Morello. Oh, oh no, it's one of the previous you... guests. It's a body of one of the previous guests. Uh, fuck. Holy shit. They're marinating it. It's a for fucking a, for body. A, you think? For a roast. Meet the last party that visited this hotel. You don't know that. Maybe it... Fuck. You're probably right. Ugh. Well, it depends on what kind of sauce. What do you think? Maybe like Charlie, uh, a sweet I found a way out, maybe. sauce or maybe a dry rub. Look, this one spins out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's. <laughs> Immediate fail. Oh shit! Trap door. It was a booby trap. It was a booby trap. And now he's fucked. Charlie. Fuck. Uh-oh. Someone's gonna come in the door and come after her, aren't they? It was a booby trap. I know somebody was in there. Oh, she has a recorder on here. I... I... can't... I can't breathe. Try to relax. Slow, deep breath. In and out. Ah, come on. No evidence. She can't find it. There you go. Footsteps. There's your evidence. Hello, Clippies. What's your favorite scary movie? Oh, you're not paying any fucking attention? Oh my we gotta god. hear this. Wait. Yeah, she had the door open, remember? <sighs> You're locked. Guys? Hello? Hey! Now we fill your room with locusts! Charlie? Ma <laughs> Mark? Or slippery Jamie? snakes. Send them in. Uh oh. Come on, come on. Stop being such a damn wimp. So she still has two inhaler shots left. We don't know if we need to use them or not. We actually don't know if the first one did anything, you know, to her because it was given. Oh, no. Already? Do we want to do this already? We're just starting. I don't think we should do it yet. She didn't use her inhaler to calm herself before entering the newly unlocked room. I don't think we need it that badly right now. Like, maybe later, but right now we ju we're just going into the room. I don't think it's that big of a deal. This is what we have to put up with, huh? So you can only use the inhaler in certain situations, and once you don't use it, you made your choice, and then you can't use it again. So I'll save it for now. Next time we have opportunity to use it, we will. Treatment for what? Snake oil treatment. Made from the finest king cobras. <laughs> yes, what you do is you milk it. You squeeze the snake. You go, ugh, into a vial. And you drink it. It's delicious. It's very legit.
the Silver Ash Institute. Oh, I'm sorry. If I'm ruining the gameplay for you, what I can do here is I can ban you, and now we don't have to hear you complain about it. And then you can watch in silence. Thanks. Look at this. Ugh. These are animatronics. Well, as you can see, her inhaler situation resolved itself. So I did the right thing. That was definitely one of the times she did not need it. Nothing in the first aid cabinet? No. A little apprehensive about going uh close to their arms. Uh, I don't want to get stabbed. Let's check out everything else first. What the fuck? A phone? Who's the cutie in the well, video you posted? Your type's so predictable. Fuck you, Jamie. Who, Aaron? My type is a badass bitch who's t not too much wooden creature. She's shy. She's clueless. Her face is always what? Her face is always looks lost and confused. So basically, it's supposed to be like an insulting text message about her. I'm not interacting with that fucking thing. I'm not getting stabbed. Fuck that. Let's go to the next room. What is that? Some kind of a device. Let's see what else is in the room before we fuck with that thing. Dear Mr. Thompson, why did you leave me the why don't you leave me the hell alone? Uh it's an elementary school. Dear Miss Monday, I've tried to contact you by telephone for a number of weeks regarding your son's recent behavior in school. Hector has been lashing out frequently at other children in an aggressive and threatening manner. During gym class, his teacher noticed he had come to school with severe bruising on his legs. We're concerned about his welfare. Please contact me at your earliest convenience. So, Monday. So, this is the child of that, that FBI investigator? No, this is 1972. This is 1972. So, this is when the investigator was a kid. The investigator got, got fucked up at home, maybe? This is a weird story. It's it's panning out to be pretty complex. And one of the more complicated ones they've ever done in the Dark Pictures anthology. What do we got here? First of all, what's this? There's another tape recorder. And then what's this? I can't read it. What the fuck does... Oh, H.H. Holmes. Okay. So what is it? I have no idea what that thing is. Huh. Another recorder. Here we go. <laughs> a whole carton this time. You trying to get on my good side or something? So this is the Arkansas killer yeah, guy? Well, uh, I think I'll save him. What, no questions? What's going on with you, Monday? You seem different. Ah, <laughs> I see that glimmer in your eye, you little devil. I can keep secrets, man. We all have them. That prosecutor is trying to get numbers out of me. Know that? Of course you know that. Numbers. They got Holmes for 27, but we know he was closer to 200, right? Can you imagine that? I wish I'd had the time to try and beat that. Sure, they know about those nice realtor ladies. They got families, after all. But the numbers the DA is asking me about? I think he knows there's some people out there, rejects, misfits, the kind of people that when you see them coming, you look the other way. And he killed them too, huh? Does anyone <clears throat> notice if they go missing? My father always told me to leave my mark on the world. I never knew what he meant by that. Not until I watched that first girl bleed out. I call it art. Ugh. That's my signature on society. 
It's not murder. It's an aesthetic response to what this world has made me. Ask people to list serial killers, and they'll drop five, ten on you before they can think of any more. Ask them to name the detectives that caught those killers. No one is going to say a damn thing. No one knows. No one cares. No one makes movies about them. No one puts their faces on t-shirts. No one gives a shit. Jesus. <laughs> it's fucked up. <sighs> I've left my mark on the world. Have you? Ugh. So that's the Arkansas killer, huh? And they're trying to figure out how many he actually killed. Nothing. It's an empty cabinet. So now what do I do? Uh, do I have to interact with that syringe from earlier, perhaps? What does this do? It's just a... I don't know what it is. A box or something? Oh, look what I found. Banish the demon dream with Dr. Holmes' miracle cure. For too long, a predilection for alcohol has been stigmatized purely in terms of weakness of character and absence of moral fiber, starting breakthroughs. Although alcohol aversion remedies are becoming available, the greed of their manufacturers put the majority behind the purse of the common man. Dr. Henry H. Holmes has established the Silver Ash Institute to bring affordable therapies to the drunken masses. So basically what it is, is he established an institute to stop people who were drunks. Thinking these are the, like the, the dregs of society. No one will care if they get murdered. And this is where he drew upon for his victims. Aaron, hello? See that? So there you go. Interesting. Um... We received 100 likes. Because of that, I'm going to do a celebratory bubble blow here for you guys. Thank you so much. We're going to go on a break in about 20 minutes or so, just so everybody knows. Thank you for the likes and the engagement today and all of your support as well. She says she didn't find anything suspicious. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because we didn't investigate the syringe. Maybe the syringe was the suspicious thing, but we didn't find it. I don't know. Weird. Give me. Jamie? Was it a trick? Aaron? You there? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? It's in the What is happening? Mouth. What? You're not safe, Aaron. How are- You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. Forget the texts. Jamie, what is going on? Where are you? I don't- Just listen. Listen, there's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now. Just trust me, okay? <gasps> Great. Totally go well. <laughs> Fucking Phantom of the Opera. The stupid mask he's wearing. <laughs> oh boy. Aaron hid in the cupboard after hearing Jamie over the microphone. He's leaving? He 
He's leaving. It worked. It worked! Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Where the hell are they? Hopefully somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Kate, check this out. What is going on? <clears throat> are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. What's the plan, Charlie? You end up dead. I'd like to toast. Was their voices from earlier? Someone was recording them. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes. Uh, that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Why is my mannequin bald? God damn it! What are you trying to say? It is true. Why is it mannequin Mark, bald? It's fucked up. Wait a minute. Why are both the the African American characters mannequins bald? He couldn't do accurate hair for them. I'm incredibly insulted. Whoever the killer is is a racist. A dirty fucking racist. Anyway, I received a dollar fifty tip. Uh, since I'm catching up on the pre-stream, here's an elaboration on the quote, Pokemon, Pokemon situation. Pokemon's actually owned by the Pokemon Company as a contract with Game Freak, and they put out the game, and they've been, they've been making the games to the Game Boy Advance, and they put them out regardless of quality. Okay, this is not the time for that. I'm sorry, it just isn't. Um, it, you know, we're in the middle of a survival horror game. I get it. You want to talk about Pokemon? Uh, we can talk about that tomorrow on the podcast if you want to come back. I'm not going to be talking about Pokemon in the middle of a survival horror game. Sorry. I'm <laughs> just not going to be doing it. Thank you for the tip, though. <clears throat> okay. Just stay back from it. Disturbed? Or they're only mannequins? Nah, I'll be disturbed. This is beyond messed up. I don't know what Charlie's gotten this into, but if I see Dumet, I'm going to fuck him up. Bold. Okay. Damn. Has Whoa. anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Can you examine each one? Examine himself? How does it look like him at all? Up. What the hell is going on? That looks nothing like him at all. He didn't even try. So all you're seeing is close ups. Is there anything else in the room? I'm gonna take a picture. From further back. There we go. Now we have evidence. What is this? Coffee. An oval, I bet. Must be mistaken. Yep. Oval on the floor. We still don't know what these are for. That one was worth five. Wow, we're finding the. The ovals that are worth a ton for some reason. There's a bottle of wine. That's what they were drinking. We can't open the door yet. But no. Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? There has to be a legit reason he left. Nothing else here? Nope. We investigate the Charlie mannequin, perhaps. Mm. Jesus. It looks just like him. It does? Nobody, somebody just threw these together in the last couple of hours. You saw about the clothes. Come on. What else am I supposed to do? Oh. You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. Watch out. Oh, here we go. Okay. Don't fuck up. And it could alternate to Y, remember. <laughs> Watch it end up being one of their buddies. It 
It was! <gasps> it Jane. was! Thank God. I'm so glad to see you guys. We have to get the hell out of here. Oh my God. When that wall shut, I... I'm just glad you're okay. Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. Demet? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. No way this is happening. You know, <laughs> so when our bodies wash up on the other side Are you of the fucking lake, kidding me? Bodies dead. Jesus, dead. shut bodies it up! Dead. Bodies dead. 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 The remix. Dead. Bodies dead. Remix dead. 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 Bodies dead. 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 This... It's fake. A prop, or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, 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 no way. Yeah, let's touch it. Yeah, why don't you suck on it, too? Oh, oh, it's real. It's fucking real. I told you, this was all too much. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, it's locked. What's going on? The door I came through is locked too. <clears throat> Getting fucked with. Grade A fucking Man. with. You wanna play around? Get out here. Right now. Let's fucking play. I think he's gonna play on his terms. <laughs> That's right, Charlie fell down the trap hole, uh, trap, the trap hole, the trap door in the basement. Excuse me, I said the trap hole. All right. That's creepy music. So what the hell do we have here? This is where he fell. Another key. Oh shit. Oh no. What a fuckhead. Who would do that? Cage key. It's just like a minor inconvenience to get your hand slightly burnt by a key. What the fuck was the point of that? You ass. Jamie! Hello! I don't think she's still there. Jamie! I'm okay! Obviously, she had to get the key. You've been minorly inconvenienced. Horror. Oh, the horror. Got some photos. A body. Chicago killed a victim one cause of death abdominal injuries. Victim's ear was removed by severely sharp object, possibly a scalpel. Okay. Oh. Bill number two. I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one. Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. Looking at the lower abdomen, the wounds are consistent with those of the first victim. The shape of the entry wound suggests it's a strong probability that this is the same murder weapon. Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. Probably a scalpel or a razor blade. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. 
The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier MO. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. Ugh, live that teeth pulling out. Of noise and mess. It's fucked up. This guy is learning. Live tooth pullings. And no Novocaine. I'm over here now. What the hell is this? A book. Contractors? A log book. What the fuck do I do with this? I had to read all this. Most of the crew have arrived at the island, moved the equipment to the hotel, met with hotel proprietor Mr. Belknap. I'll just skim through this. <clears throat> Some equipment went missing. James Kelly left the project, note citing an emergency, didn't contact me directly. First set of moving walls are now implemented. Working now on the basement supports. Bobby let me high and dry. Second loyal guy to me left this project. Bar renovation begins. Phase of plumbing completed. Second floor renovations to be completed next week. Project efficiency good. If this continues, we'll meet the agreed date. All moving walls have been completed. Signal receivers installed. More reports of missing equipment. Third replacement request filed this month. Project completed the agreed date. Proprietor is requesting additional work on the spa beneath the hotel. Only a skeleton crew are left. Received correspondence from Kelly. Skeleton crew remaining. Laura, Monica, Ryan, Frank, and I will move forward with work on the spa. Ryan let me know saying his mom isn't well. I'm sure she died years ago. We'll see if Mr. Belknap will allow me to contact him. Secret. Laura finished installing the tannoy system with Mr. Belknap. He said she wasn't feeling well afterwards. He offered her one of the rooms to sleep it off. I haven't received any correspondence from Kelly about where the rest of the crew are. I, I didn't read the last entry. I fucked up. What is going on? Laura hasn't come out of her room. Monica left. I can't contact Kelly. Tomorrow I'll return to the mainland with Frank and Laura. The job is ridiculous. So, the people who built the hotel became the first group of victims. <clears throat> yeah. What the hell was that? Rock the Ice, is this the first game with absolutely no supernatural factor from them? Uh, out of the four? Yes, although the first game implied supernatural and then it wasn't afterward. Examine, looks like something that would need like a fuse or something. What's that? Oh my god, obviously we need to examine that to make any progress. We have a, a fucking... What is that, gramophone or whatever that's called? And look, a video feed of the room itself. Oh boy. Alright, we're gonna see what this is. 